Well, hello guys. Welcome to my channel, Carp Graft um, UK. We are going to do another rig uh, video. Yeah, this one's going to be on a favourite of mine. Been using it for a number of years now. Um, the Slip D rig. Um, yeah, basically, Slip D rig works. It's great. I mean, I have used it a few times. As a combi version works great i prefer it as a braided version to be fair um yeah i use a, a semi-stiff and a soft coated um braid but i strip all the coatings off anyway to be fair my preferred one is the calder end trap i haven't got nothing to do with calder or nothing like that don't get me wrong the only reason I use it is because the semi stiff and the end trap I use a lot for my reverse combi pop up rigs. Um, and the soft again, I, I, I use them both. I use them both with the coating still on with me, uh, um, me blowback rigs on the river and that sort of thing as well. So it, when I strip the coating off, I can still use them for you know, they still serve a purpose basically. And I like to use a supple-ish braid, but the trouble is what you don't want to happen is you don't want one that's too supple in the fact that it starts to fray and all that. The beautiful thing about the end trap is how tightly it's woven as a braid. Um, yeah, it doesn't fall apart and get loops out of it and it, it gets weak in any way. It's so tightly woven, it doesn't weaken anywhere. Um, yeah, so I'll show you how to tie it. Um, basically, demonstration we're using the uh end trap gravel gravel brown in 15 pound so, you know take off 10 to 12 inches um to be fair i generally fish a six and a half to seven and a half inch at length um depending on how i'm fishing um will depend on whether i uh use a swivel straight a, a figure of eight loop knot with a swivel whether already on or whether I'm fishing for plenty of bites and I and, and uh, it's just a figure of eight loop knot um, looped over a quick chain swivel. Yeah, at the moment I'm just literally stripping all the coating back, stripping all the coating off, ready to get to tie in the rig. Yeah, the slip D rig guy that I'm, guys that I'm going to be showing you, um, it's generally used as a wafter rig. Um, the hook lays flat on the bottom. Um, yeah, with the bait coming off of the hook swivel on the slip D on the back of the hook. And it just hovers above it. Remember, you can make your own wafters. Yeah, you can make your own critically balanced baits. Um, you don't have to use them straight out of the tub. I, ge I, I generally do all sorts of different arrays of them. I mean, you know, if I want them more critical, I, I, I'll use a little bit of wafter, a little bit of fake corn. Um... In all sorts of colours, yellow, white, um, red, you know, little bits of pop up above a bottom bait or a hard hooker to make them hover. Um, yeah, and the good thing about a wafter, you know, if you get a, a critically balanced wafter, um, it just takes all of the weight of the hook out when the fish is feeding. You, you know, they ain't wary of the weight because you've taken it all out or majority of the weight out with the critically balanced bait. So that's what the idea of the slip D's for. I have seen it used with bottom baits. Don't like it, don't like the way it sits. I love it when it when you've got your hook laying flat on the bottom and the bait's hovering above it, coming off the, off the D on the back. Um, yeah, that is a great way. But anyway, the end trap is all stripped back now. So there's our material in the gravel. What we do, is literally slide your hook you literally push the braid through so it comes out the point of the hook and then you just pull it through then what we do is you grab the hook so you've got your point there like so grab your hook like that yeah and then grab the tag end that you've left push it so it goes back through the front like so Point, so it goes back through point side of the hook, pinch that, then what you do, pinch the loop you've created together, 
put your hook swivel. I use the big eyed hook swivel from Avid. That's what I prefer. It's a lot more movement. It, it moves easier. Then what you do is you slide that on, on the loop you've pushed together. Then open it slightly in the loop. You literally want to loop it over the point. Like so. Yeah. And then what you do, pull it all through. Tighten it all up. You literally want it. I would say. I like it like that. So it's in line with the barb. Pretty much in line with the barb. Like so. The end of that loop. Creating a nice D on the back of the hook. Like that. Pinch that together like so. Then always going away from the manufactured groove in the hook. You literally do your seven turn. Not this knot. Four, five, six, seven. Right, now you don't have to do it this way. All I do is I literally will cut that off. Both bays are seen better days, to be fair. I've had them donkey years. Um, right, and then just blob it. So it all goes nicely back into the eye hook. Don't blob it down too far. You don't want to start creating imperfections in the rig so it breaks off when you're playing a fish. Yeah, so then, once that's all blobbed down, you push your braid back through, so it goes back through to the point side. Pull it all nicely tight together. I always just give it a couple of little jolts like that just to tighten it all up. And then... I grab the D like that with a swivel on it, grab the eye like that, and then just pull the D just to make the blob go right in the eye of the hook like so. See? It's gone. Right, then, literally, it's as simple as that. And then you've got your nice slip D rig. Lovely. Ready to go. And like I say, this end, about there, probably six and a half to seven and a half. What I do, form yourself a loop. This is the figure of eight loop knot. So you can have a swivel already in there, but then you literally do your loop. Another overhand loop like so. Then you go back round, pinch it back together. Then that tag end's got to go back through, away from your body, back through the hole. So, yeah, always, if you can, tighten that all up, and then it's easier. You can use the aid of a baiting needle if you like, but if you crush it all together, push it through, like so. That's all gone through there nicely, and I've got massive fingers. Um, you can see there that you've created a figure of eight. So then all you do, always wet it. Pull it all together, nice and tight. And if you want to, what I always use, I've got a rig tool here I've had, in, had for years. The good old Drennan, the old Drennan nut drill. Sure, that is a few years old. But yeah, then all you do is just tighten it all up. Yeah, just so the, the knot on the loop goes nice and tight. Like so. Then it's ready to go over your quick change swivel. Cut the access away. Always, always leave about five mil. Not going to do any arm. And there you go, guys. The finished article. Yeah, like I say, you, oh, you make your own wafters up. You know, you don't have to use them out the tub. Like I say, uh, little bits of pop up above a bottom bait. You know, little bits of fake corn. Um, there's loads of things, you know. Yeah, at the end of the day, single bits of that is ideal for like a single grain of fake corn as well. Because by the time you've pushed that onto that swivel, the weight of that hook will lay flat with the corn just coming up like that. It looks lovely. I've caught a lot of fish like that as well. Um, but yeah, that is it. Nice and simple, but very, very effective. And a rig I use nowadays for for a massive amount of my fishing. 
Oh yeah. There you go guys. I hope that helps you and explains the use of the slip D. Obviously, you know, with this sort of rig you don't want to go, you know, you can fish it over silt. Obviously it's not ideal in silk weed and stuff like that. But you can fish it over silt, on gravel, on clay, you know, holes in the weed, you can fish it anywhere. Um yeah, anywhere within reason. Obviously, silkweed, low lying weed, and heavy weed beds, you ain't going to get away with it. But the obvious ones are clay, gravel, silt, you can fish it over that. And what I do with this rig generally is make yourself up a little um, PVA mesh bag, um, push a. a um, a string a needle through it hook it onto the loop there pour it down over the hook so when you cast out that's going to hold that nice and straight and whether you feather it down it's going to the rig's going to lay out nice on the bottom the thing with that being a supple braid that has got a chance in entangling on the way out so yeah there you go there's an insight into a rig i, I use a hell of a lot these days yeah, and I hope it helps you guys out in your fishing as well. It's a brilliant rig, and I also use it a lot in a very, very short version. Exactly the same with a um, a figure of eight loop, not over it, but in between two and a half and sort of four inches for solid bags. A really great rig. If you like the video, guys, give us a thumbs up smash the subscribe button but if you do click the notification bell because that way you'll be notified next time i have a vlog go out um yeah and if we're not sitting in the garage talking about rigs or approach or anything like that we'll be out in the bank so i hope to see you all soon thanks for watching guys all the best